guys! Welcome to our review of The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, the graphic novel that spawned the Netflix series. I wouldn't say that when the Netflix series was announced. I'm like, man, I should read the book. Like, two weeks before the Netflix series dropped, I'm like, man, I should read that book! And I read it and I, I threw it at Chelsea, as I do. Yeah. And it was really good. It was really good! The art is really, like, it's not an art style that I'm used to. It's kind of like semi-realistic in a way, but like with the color style, like the coloring is very cool because you've got like these like burnt oranges and deep reds and like gray, but it's also like got this like washed out feel to it, so. It kind of really reminded me of Witches, mm -hmm. like in vibe and art style. As someone who's been waiting for volume two of Witches for forever, I was really excited by that. <laughs> <laughs> kind of scratched an itch that I forgot yeah. I had. Sabrina is born of a human woman and a witch father. Her witch father was commanded by Satan to marry a human. We don't know if it's true or not, but supposedly that's what happened. But the mother didn't want to give her baby over to the witches, so she ends up in a mental institution where she's just kind of like crazy. And the father has mysteriously disappeared. Later on we find out that he's been shoved into a tree. <laughs> yeah. There's no real reason why he just has been and we're, He's we'll being punished for something. everything. And then Madam Satan sets the tree on fire and meanwhile Sabrina's like, one day, my time. You <laughs> yeah, you're like, like, oh. Oh, honey, no. <laughs> <laughs> so Hilda and Zelda are cannibals. They own a mortuary and they're raising their niece. And Sabrina has to choose between her life as a human and her life as a witch. And if she decides to be a witch, she has to get baptized and write her name in Satan's book. Her choice is coming up very soon, but it's made difficult because she's in love with Harvey Kinkle. She would have to give him up if she decided to be a witch. If she decides to be a human, her powers will fade, she will start aging normally, and you know, the whole like magical life will be gone. Yeah. What would you do, Chelsea? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I know what I would do. <laughs> Sabrina has this choice to make, but in the background you have Madame Satan, and she used to be her father's fiance. And when he passed her up to marry a human, she got really pissed off and committed suicide. So now she's managed to claw her way out of hell and find a body and like go on her path to revenge. I kind of like her face. Like I was really kind of like put off at the beginning because she has like um like it's a female face and then skull like skulls in as her eyes, eyes. And, and I was just like that's kind of strange but it kind of gave me vibes to um Sandman and the Corinthian with his like mouth eyes and so I got used to it. She's fun. She's got a plan. She never quite tells you what her plan is but it involves like fucking with Sabrina and um she ropes in some help. <laughs> And that help comes in the form of Betty and Veronica, who are also witches! Yeah! So the big main twist of the novel is Sabrina goes to her dark baptism. And so it's on her birthday, it's on Halloween, it's in the woods, all of the witches are there, Satan shows up, it's a big deal. But Harvey had wanted to do something with Sabrina that night. Adam Satan is like, no one, he's curious, and he's just like, hey, Hey Harvey, I think uh, I think Sabrina's gonna be in the woods tonight. You should go check that out. Harvey's like, yeah, I should go check that out. And he goes into the woods and he like witnesses the dark baptism, and all of the witches are just like, oh, a mortal's not supposed to see this. We must kill him. <laughs> and they do. And they do. <laughs> in like super creepy fashion, they do. Sabrina's left sitting and, there. Yeah, and like she wakes up, and I'm like, man, that was the most fucked up dream sequence I've ever read. And then it was like, no, Harvey's dead. The ants have come for it. He's actually dead. By the way, Sabrina, you have to act like nothing ever happened to go with the cover story. And I was just like, oh my. Yeah, right? The mother is calling her in a panic and she's just like, no, Mrs. Kinkle, I haven't heard from Harvey. I'm sure he'll turn up. And so then the ants plant some evidence that these two bullies killed him. And so the ants are like, they were bad people, so they're being punished not exactly for what they did, but for something they might have done. And Sabrina is just, oh, I don't like this. Uh, yeah. Uh, on top of that, a lot of the witches think that maybe Sabrina set Harvey up to come witness this, which would be against their rules, so she then has to go under oath and like put her hand in this fire and if she gets burned then it, she's lying. 
But the interesting part of that is that she was innocent, but then Madame Satan tells her about her plot to like take revenge and then she's not innocent anymore. So she could have like literally like come up to her and told her about this plot after, but she like ropes her in before and like helps her cover her guilt after that. It's, a, I'm not explaining it well, but it's an interesting way of like gaining Sabrina's trust. <laughs> and then they try to raise Harvey from the dead. Adam, Satan, Betty, Veronica, and Sabrina perform a necromantic ritual, you know, near and dear to my heart, and they raise Harvey. And so the book ends with Sabrina waiting at her house, waiting for Harvey to show up and then shows Harvey coming to the door and you realize that he's not at her house, he's at his parents' house. Harvey's dad's a little, like, not, not there for it. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, no, don't let whatever the fuck that is in because our son is obviously dead. And then the mother kills him. <laughs> yeah, and then Harvey walks in the door and it's not Harvey in the body, it's Sabrina's father. That's where it ends. <laughs> so it's just like, oh, oh no, oh no, this is about to get dark in uncomfortable ways. <laughs> like, more so. <laughs> so you just kind of left sitting there just like, oh, oh no. So I'm really interested to see what happens next. It left on a giant cliffhanger and I really enjoyed it. I did too. Like, it's a really quick read. The art is amazing. The story's a lot of fun. The Betty and Veronica thing was a surprise and you're like, oh, well I didn't know I wanted this, but this is great. And um, yeah, so here's to finding out what else <laughs> Madam Satan plans. <laughs> if you liked this, if you haven't read it, if you would tell us what you thought about the Netflix series too, just uh, leave us a comment and tell us what you thought and we will see you guys next time.